All right, today on the channel, we got something special to take a look at. This is a new product that essentially transforms your Nintendo Switch into a fully functional little pinball machine. Now, several weeks ago, I got an email from an inventor named Richie Kinmont who had came up with and developed, designed this amazing little one-fifth scale miniature pinball machine. Now, as you can see, it's a great looking pinball machine. Works great just as a shelf display piece, but it's got some secrets because it actually transforms into a fully functional pinball machine when you incorporate your Nintendo Switch. It's got all sorts of great design aesthetics and features that I'm really impressed with and blown away in full disclosure. He was kind enough to send me out some prototype units and everything for me to give him feedback. Uh, I wasn't paid or asked to make a video on this. In fact, I had to ask him to make a video on it because I was just overwhelmingly impressed with how creative and cool this was that I really wanted to share it with you all because I thought you would probably love it too, especially if you're a pinball fan. If you collect you know, the miniature arcades, whether it be the Numbskull Quarter Arcades or the New Wave Toys units, either way, look at this thing. It is phenomenal. So this is uh, the Moonshot design. This is his own creation, uh, an unlicensed IP, if you will. I know he does want to work with official licensors to get those uh, name brand tables that you probably recognize. But this is his own creation, own table design, artwork and aesthetic. I mean, look at the details on this thing. It even has, you know, the, the screening on the back, you know, like faux latch to hold the back box down, you know, your labels, your vents. Uh, this thing just looks killer like i said it's it's 3d printed components but this thing feels solid uh it's not cheaply made i don't feel like i'm gonna break it we got you know traditional legs a plunger got some access to a, a fully functional nudge mechanism there on the bottom like i said i'm really impressed with this he's got two models right now he's got an all you know bells and whistles illuminated one because yes that's right you can put batteries in it and it lights up the play field lights up your DMD lights up, your back glass lights up. He's even got a you know, little animated RGB stuff going on here with the rocket ship. Very, very cool stuff. I mean, even the packaging is mind blowing to me. So full disclosure, I believe he's actually gonna transition this to brown uh, cardboard, but look at this thing. It showed up in these awesome strapped down to a pallet box. You got the, the straps, you got like the corner protectors there. So he's got his branding on there, Stellar Pinball. He's got the website, stellarpinball.com. Even has the, the website branded on the bottom of the palette, which is really cool. Uh, amazing touch. Uh, unboxing this is great. I, I didn't want to destroy this packaging because like I said, it looks amazing. Uh, when I opened it up, everything was nice, safe, protected, foam padded, everything. Uh, the unit itself came as one whole assembled piece. The only thing you really had to do was uh, attach the pinball legs, so no problem there. Very simple. He gives you, you know, the appropriate screws and Allen wrenches. Uh, you'll get two Allen wrenches, one where you can actually adjust the feet of the legs and the other ones attach the legs. But let me show you how this works and how it incorporates the Nintendo Switch because this is truly mind boggling as far as the ingenuity and inventiveness of it because there's no USB encoders, it's all mechanical and it works really, really well. So right now I've got the light on, you can turn it off, turn it on, you can have the switch inside and still have your back box lit up. So it's up to you whether you wanna leave uh, your battery on it. First things first, we're gonna fold down the back box. As you can see, there's a little magnet here in the hinge that way it locks in place so when you're moving this around display wise you don't have to worry about it flopping down hitting anything like that but fold down the back box you want to remove your play filled display it slides out got a nice little handle there so it's easy to pull out uh, the lights for the play field are no longer illuminated because there's a little micro switch here that toggles on and off uh, when it feels the play field slide out so once it slides out that switch automatically deactivates and it no longer illuminates that. And as far as the design aspect of how everything works, uh, once we get the Joy-Cons in the cradle, like I said, we're gonna push down, it's gonna lock that magnet, but as you can see right here, it's got a little catch right here, and there's two little slides here that are all connected on the bottom. Uh, this is for your nudging, so you can actually nudge the table by tapping that either left or right. It'll activate the joystick right there, which activates the nudge functionality in Pinball FX, which is a really cool feature. Um, we also have, again, like I said, we have our flippers, so it pushes there on both sides. It's actually gonna catch your triggers when this is pushed all the way down, and your plunger, you can see right there, 
pull back. Has a little touch mechanism, and this right there is actually what's gonna touch the functionality and pinball effects on your Joy-Con to actually you know, pull back. So once I pull back there, and it fires away for the launch, and like I said, this right here and this right here, gets our shoulder buttons for the flippers, and voila, you have a fully functional Nintendo Switch in a pinball cabinet with all the normal pinball features uh, that you would come to expect. Like I said, you got your nudging, you got your flippers, you got your plunger, it works and as far as forward thinking with the design and everything another key detail here is he's actually got a hole where you can access the home button on your joy con so very simple just push the button voila you're out of pinball fx you're you know, in your menu options, so you can do whatever you want to do without actually having to slide everything out and disassemble. You've even got a vent heat port there for the Nintendo Switch, so your Switch doesn't overheat while it's encased. I mean, he really thought of everything. Now you got the illuminated version as well as the non-illuminated version. Uh, there's subtle differences between the two, mainly just obviously around the LEDs and the aspect of that nature. So battery door on the bottom there, no battery door on the bottom of the non-illuminated one. Uh, you'll see the front there, we've got little raised edges for our illuminated LED buttons for like our start and our coin. Uh, it's just a flat sticker on this one, but as far as a one-to-one -one recreation, since these are all homemade and handmade, uh, they look almost identical. Like, just from, you know, a couple of feet away, you would think these are identical machines, but like I said, you turn on the, the switch, you get the lights going on. They look great either or, like I said, you, you can't go wrong. It really just depends on if you want the flash or you just want the functionality. And I would be remiss if I didn't show off this awesome prototype that he's came up with. So this is the classic Twilight Zone. Everything that you saw in the other one, fully functional as far as how it works and how it integrates with Nintendo Switch. Uh, but he's went above and beyond. He even created an amazing topper for it that's illuminated, plugs into the top of the back box, uses the standard power connections and everything. Didn't have to add like a secondary battery pack or anything like that. Uh, we still have the illuminated buttons, plunger, you know, flipper buttons, everything works. Back glass, gorgeous artwork. Now I know he really wants to make these and I'm sure you as a viewer and a consumer probably would love to see, you know, something like this produced as well. Uh, I know he's had issues with trying to get you know, people from Planetary Pinball, the ones that own the licenses for those classic Williams Valley games, uh, to contact him. So if anybody out there, just uh, heads up, if anybody out there has a contact for Planetary Pinball that you know uh, works better than Emo, let, let me know, let him know, because uh, it'd be great to get in contact with them and get these officially licensed uh, Williams Valley games made, because look at this thing. This is killer. Am I, am I right? Like I said, the topper. The topper is amazing. Back glass, illuminated DMD. I mean, these things are killer. Like I said, whether you get the illuminated version or the non-illuminated version, either way, it looks great. Like I said, if they both work for the Nintendo Switch integration, it just really depends on, do you want some fancy lights for your display and your collectible, or do you want to go the cheaper route and you just, you know, you want a fully functional Nintendo Switch mini pinball machine. Either way, Fantastic products, like I said, exceptionally well built. The design just still boggles my mind how he came up with it and how well it just fits the Nintendo Switch, the Joy-Cons, everything, it's, it's phenomenal. So if you're interested in picking some of these up, product link is down in the video description box below. Guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions of these little miniature pinball machines. Are you a big fan of them? What else would you like to see? Any other design aesthetic ideas you can add or mention? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Really means a lot.